Hey, what's up guys? It's DJ. Welcome back to Go Ham Gear. Today we are going to be continuing the build on our PC and we have got some, well, interesting things to hook up. What we're going to be doing is hooking up all of the RGB and all of the fans as well as a few other things in here to the motherboard and getting ready for the power supply. Now, I don't know if we're going to be doing the power supply today, but I can tell you the power supply will either be today or the next episode. So you don't want to miss it. You know what? Let's just jump right in because I'm so excited for today's video. First things first, let's get some stuff unboxed here and let's find out what we are working with. I know this is a little bit loud, I do apologize. So here we have some fan splitters. These are going to be, I think one to three, that's correct, yep. So one single fan, two, three, not bad. Got a couple of those and we have some RGB extensions here. These are gonna come in handy definitely today. And then we have some more fan splitters and even what's going to be running to our or to, say, to the motherboard. Well, technically the motherboard, the CPU to the motherboard. This is going to be running all of the good stuff and controlling the pump and everything. So this is very, very important. Now that that's all done, let's go ahead and let's open up the back of the case because we have a, oh boy, that is heavy. This is getting heavier. We got the motherboard in here. We got all kinds of fans and stuff like that. This is going to be a whole lot of fun. Also, I do apologize if there's any quality kind of oddness with the top camera. It has not been happy with me today. I do apologize for anything. So we've got our screws. We want to save those. We want to take our cover for the back. We want to save that, put that somewhere where it's not going to get damaged. And we have a few things here that we need to figure out what is what. So. Warranty void if removed. Sure, I won't remove that. So we have a few USB. We have what looks to be the RGB controller for the front fans. Speaking of front fans, we've got the front AIO fans right here. We don't have to worry about those because we do have a fan input for those. Plus, we have all of the <laughs> top and rear fans for that. Plus, as far as the front of the case goes, we have a few things here. So we have uh, USB 3, I think, I hope, maybe USB 2. We've also got some uh, audio and power on and off stuff as well as power. So let's get to work. Let's get this stuff put where it needs to go. I think we got the overhead camera fixed now. Let's <laughs> turn this back over, being very careful not to mess up anything and not totally schmush anything from the back here. Oh boy, yeah. This is awesome to try and do by yourself. I'm gonna be straight up honest with you. Let's switch over to our main cam. Maybe you might be able to see a few things. So we need to get a few of these cords up in. Now there are a few pieces up in here and then we've got, I think that's it, Kim, just these two cords. So I'm gonna feed these through to the back and then one of them has gotta come back out to the front. What's well, a easy definitely does not describe what I'm doing at all. I got fat little fingers, which are like the worst. All right, so. Number one is over. This is touching a heat sink, which surprises me that we haven't fixed this issue already. We've got some heat sink problems right here. We'll try and keep it over enough to where it doesn't actually touch it, but that's gonna be hot. That's gonna be real hot. Then we have another fan. And unfortunately for this one, we kind of have to put this through, but not all the way. Why? Because we have the connector on the other end, but I need to get it through here just to hide it. Just a little bit, just hide it, get out of the way. All right, so now that that's done, we have one place we're gonna plug it in and that is going to be CPU fan. Now let's get this set like this. We are smishing a few things, but that's all right. Today's gonna be very much so a live stream setup, but with editing, I need to find CPU fan, found it, and this is where we're going to be plugging in. Make sure we don't, uh, Press anything down that we shouldn't be. The CPU fan is a four fan design, or four pin design, but we only have a three pin head here, which is okay. All right, fingers crossed it's in and we are okay. Uh, we do still have this little flag on here. I might take that off, we'll see. Back on the back of the case now, and it's going to take a little bit of time and effort because this is just, tedious work getting all of these cables not only plugged into the right thing it's very easy by the way uh, but not only getting these plugged into the right thing but making sure the headers are pointing in the right direction we've got all this 
junk that's just hanging out. This is the worst part of building a PC is getting all of this organized. I hate it. I don't like it at all. Um, but it has to be done. It's a, kind of difficult to make a video about this part. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in a few things again. The headers that we took from the front is going to plug into these three fans right here. But just plugging them in and leaving them like that doesn't really look good. So we're going to try and make that look nice as well as all of these as well. These have to go to RGB heads and splitters and the back and the front and all kinds of stuff. And oh, I don't even know if I've got enough parts for this. But we're gonna figure it out. One thing that'll help us out a lot is if we separate the front stuff from the RGB, from the fan. So that is where I'm going to start. We're gonna go ahead and get all this unplugged again. Remember, this could be a little bit frustrating. And if you have maybe uh, some ADHD or something like that, like myself, this might seem a little bit overwhelming, maybe a little bit difficult, but it's okay one step at a time and everything will be just fine. Cause I'm sitting here like, <laughs> it's okay, I'm gonna show you. So we've actually gone ahead, you can see we've got these three little sprigs right here. That is running to a fan header in the front. And I think that might be the only one that we have to run. We'll see, but I think that's the only one we have to run. Let's go to the overhead view and let's take a look here. Boom, all right, so we got a bunch of junk sitting around. But basically what we're gonna do, is we're gonna take all of the headers for the front we're just gonna set them to the side. So they're faced out towards the front, they're okay. Now we have all of our headers for the front fans. These are all here, fans only by the way. So fans in. And then we have all of our headers from the previously mentioned top fans. We are going to remove, at least temporarily, all of the RGB parts. So now everything that's on here is fans. We can deal with this. We can deal with this. There's a couple that we know where they're gonna go already, so I'm gonna go and plug them in. We're gonna take those out. This is going to be from our um, AIO to the front fan. So we just need to check there. That's in. Two. And three. Perfect. So now I also know that this will very likely fit kind of like in here. So that's probably where that's going to go. We'll we'll get something to kind of put it there, but for now, we'll just kind of put it like that and keep it out of our way. Next, the three for the back. Again, very, very easy to do here. We have a triple header. So let's, dang, triple header. Hey, <laughs> uh, we're going to take this and plug these individually in. So again, all three. And then one of these will actually plug into the uh, back. It's going, uh, unfortunately, it's just gonna have to be that way, or into the motherboard rather. So these are all there and they will fit nicely and neatly in the top away from the back of this. The only other one is this bad boy right here. This is gonna have to go into the motherboard and I don't think there's any way around it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to flip this. We're gonna take a look and see. I think this is going to go into CPU optional on the top because that's going to be linked together. So the front fans and the front AIO will all work in tandem together. So if I can, <laughs> if I can actually get this to go towards the front with everything, I think that did it. <laughs> Maybe, maybe not. There we go. All right, we'll just kind of shove that through. We'll take a look on the other side and we see it. We've got it right here and I'm just gonna plug it in. One thing to note on a lot of these cords is don't force anything. If you force, you run into uh, the uh, opportunity for things to be damaged. We do not want to damage anything. As a matter of fact, we want to keep everything in check and as much intact as possible. <laughs> because it's expensive. So we wanna make sure that all of our equipment, all the gear, all the cables and everything, nice, orderly, neat, and safe. So now the fans are done. We basically know where they're gonna go and where they're coming from and all that good stuff. Next is going to be the RGB. Now the RGB for us is actually pretty simple. We only have four fans that are RGB or four fan headers. A couple of these hook up together. And honestly, I think we can run all of these together, like straight up all together. So here's what we will do. We're just gonna link these 
one after another after another, and then run a header towards the front to plug in. So let's run from here into here. These are addressable. They are not RGB, so they're gonna have three pins versus two. And as soon as we get all these in, we're going to be using this tape that you guys have been seeing on the ground because with that tape, that is going to allow us to make these connections safer and tighter. There are things that you can use and there's things that uh, are even included with this. I don't think I have any on the table with me right now, but do we have all three in? We do. One more, the front one. Again, the front one's going to be plugging into these. So all of the RGB on here, got it. All the RGB will work together. We're not gonna have a single color for the front, a different color for the top, anything like that. Um, I'm not really interested in that anyway, so I could care less. So now all of our RGB is done. We just need to get ourselves an RGB extension right here. Let's go and open this up. And we've got it. This is just a short cable that on one end plugs into the computer. Oh, this is not the right one. <laughs> is it? Um, so those are RGB grounds and these are ARGB. A. Well, that's gonna cause a problem. All right, so I've got a couple options here. Option number one, we can use an extension that I just found that goes from one to four. Problem is, I don't need that. I just need an extension because this right here is going to the motherboard, but I don't want to link a bunch of stuff and this is, it needs help. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and we're just gonna break a pin off because if I don't break a pin off, it physically won't fit in there because it only has three holes. We need four. So, snip, snip. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna take the one right beside the power plug, which is the G, and I'm going to attempt to pull it out. Ha ha ha! There you go, right there, okay. So we wanna save that so that we don't step on it on the ground later. This should work, by the way. <laughs> it should work. All right, so we'll plug in the three. Fits, but is very loose. We'll take care of that. And then this is going to go into the top of the motherboard again, because that is where the plug is that we want to access. It's right beside the CPU. So that is good. You know what, we'll deal with that. Before we deal with that, we need to tape these up. Again, remember, they make things that'll keep these fine, but we don't care about that. All I care about is getting the RGB done. So we are going to tape up each one of these individually. And then after that, we'll see if, um, we'll see if we need to tape them all up in a separate way or if we're all right. We'll find out, but I like to use tape. I like to use black tape. Uh, of course, you can't see the tape through. It's on the back of the case, so it's not gonna be really doing anything anyway. It's a very interesting kind of thing. Some people say this is okay, some people don't. I say it's fine, because guess what? I've got three other PCs that have electrical tape on the RGB heads, and it's fine. No issues whatsoever. So I'm gonna continue to do that until it busts something. So we'll continue to go through, plus we use um, electrical tape because it is non-conductive. Most tape, as far as I'm concerned, is uh, is not thermally or uh, electrically conductive, but it's always good to use the stuff you're supposed to use. Now that the wire's through, the only thing we have left to do is to plug this into an RGB header. These are gonna be in different places depending on what kind of computer you have and where all your plugs are on your computer for us at the top of the motherboard, so we're gonna go with that. And now that we've got all the cords plugged into something, it's it's a bit of a rat's nest, but it's all right in case you plug them all in correctly. We are going to be using some Velcro straps. These are very, very nice to have, very handy. And we are just gonna put these through to a certain couple places here. And then all of our Velcro and all the straps should be good. The great thing about this, I know I see a lot of people using zip ties for this. It ain't wrong, but wouldn't you rather be able to unhitch this stuff if you have to? Wouldn't you be happy to open it up? Maybe install something new. Maybe you're installing a new um, thing. <laughs> I don't know what it would be, but wouldn't it be nice to have access to this whole area right here 
and just add whatever you want whenever you want. Well, that is why I use Velcro straps. I use Velcro straps when I DJ as well, because you can easily take them off, add something, put something somewhere, and you're good to go. That is why I like Velcro straps. And I'm having a hard time getting some of these in, so I'm gonna, <laughs> yeah. We're gonna do this, and I'll show you how to cable manage. You can cable manage any way that you want. There's no right or wrong way. Um, doesn't hurt to make it look nice though. So we've zoomed in a little bit so you hopefully can see some of this. We have a strap here, 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 and here. I know it's all black, but I apologize. Uh, just the way it is. What we wanna do is we wanna take um, as many things that match as possible. So for us to start with, this is going to be our uh, fans. So we're gonna take the fans. We're going to move, uh-oh, hold up. We got a fan that came out. I know, I'll put that in there. Hmm, interesting. Okay, all right, I see you, I see you. So we just wanna start by getting some of these fans put where they need to go. So we're sticking them in this uh, Velcro, just kinda adding them in. You know what, that's gonna be the wrong thing. We wanna get all this done and then Velcro it. I'm starting to look at this going, oh, that's not a good idea. And it's not. Now that most of it's done, we just wanna kinda of go back and forth and make sure that everything is still plugged in and nice and neat. And then just grab our Velcro straps and pull everything together. We're not gonna to need to do much more than this. We do have power that we need to run, but generally I will run uh, fans and RGB in one spot and then I'll run the power supply in a completely different location. So there's that. That will fit nicely under there, perfect. And then our last fan, or uh, last cord right here, Velcro. We're gonna open that up, see if we can get this around this. This is a little bit tight in here, but that's okay, there's nothing wrong with that. Come through there, see if there's a little bit more of this. And then you can go through, once you've got this stuff Velcroed in, you can actually go through and do smaller pieces of Velcro in between. It'll help you out a little bit. So, there we go. Nice, orderly, neat. It's all together. I'm gonna come back through and give it just a little bit of more of a pull. And I think that should put us to about where we need to be, at least for now. We do have some more plugs here, but uh, I think we'll go ahead and get these done in a different video. Well guys, that is gonna be it for today. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, drop a like on it, get subscribed. If you are new, let me know if you have any questions about this computer build. You can see we've got the Velcro kind of curled up behind. Everything is nice, neat, out of the way, and looks, like my nose itches, looks way better than it did. I like this. Hope you guys have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace.